And one of the first things that these very well-known filmmakers in Hollywood said was, this is a great opportunity, but shoot, how are we gonna tell stories in a vertical format? Hey there everybody, June 21st, 2018, first day of summer. Kevin O'Connell here. I wanted to quickly make this video. Last week, uh, two of the interns that I work with, we made a series of videos on digital trends, one of them being uh, square vertical video versus landscape video, and I think the breaking news that came out yesterday that Instagram is launching IGTV or Instagram TV to compete with YouTube. Uh, I had to put this video out first, so literally we're filming this a day after this news dropped. So a couple things I wanna talk about is their big milestone is they reach 1 billion daily active users or, or users uh, yesterday and I'm not surprised because I think in September, so nine months ago, they said they had 800 million users. So I'm not surprised they crossed that 1 billion user mark. And one of the other things is they reported that Instagram is about 25% of their social media user share across Facebook, WhatsApp, Messenger, all these different platforms. So Instagram is something that's continuing to grow and something that you need to be on and have a, a strategy for. So a couple things I wanna talk about is a vertical video. We are actually filming this in vertical with the DSLR camera. So I've been talking about this for a while, your social video strategy. What's interesting about shooting portrait or vertical is to the storyteller or the video person or the person consuming it, we need to get really creative now. And I think a really cool article I read last year is NBC Universal tapped the Duplass brothers. Uh, these guys are known for a couple of their series on HBO, like Togetherness and Room 104. They have a couple series on Netflix as well. But they tapped them to create Snapchat vertical content for NBC Universal. And one of the first things that these very well known filmmakers in Hollywood said was, this is a great opportunity, but shoot, how are we going to tell stories in a vertical format? Well, this is what we all now need to figure out. And so a couple of things I wanna talk about is with Instagram TV is there are no ads yet, but it will come. We want, I think they want people on the platform to engage. Uh, the second thing is it's a standalone app, but it also uh, is embedded right into your Instagram uh, features right now as is. So if you upload it or update your app, there's a good chance that you'll have it today. If not, it's rolling out in the next few weeks. But things that you guys should know as marketers, filmmakers, things like that, is when you are making video, whether you're filming vertically like we are or you're gonna crop it in post, is you, it needs to be 1080 pixels by 1350. It's also called a nine by 16 ratio because this is full screen vertical. Uh, this is, to people like you and I, to a lot of people watching this, you're only really gonna be able to upload 15 seconds to 10 minute video content. But to larger channels, and I don't know how they're describing larger channels, if that's more than 10,000 followers, a million followers, verified followers, those people will be able to upload up to an hour length of content. But to a majority of us, we're only gonna be able to upload 15, to, uh, 15 seconds to 10 minutes of content. Um, the other thing that you guys should know is file size, you can only upload up to 3.6 gig file. It needs to be in a .mp4. And the really cool thing is you can actually upload a custom thumbnail picture. So that has to be in JPEG format as well. But how can you, me, other brands and organizations use this? So yesterday I experimented and one of the first things that I, I jumped into seeing is John Mayer did a behind the scenes of one of his new songs of, of how he made it, how he laid the tracks, how he got other collaborators on it. And it was a, such an intriguing eight and a half minute video because it was a true behind the scenes of him in the studio of like how he did this and how he created this track, I think in under a month. So a couple of things that I would recommend is, what can you put out there that's educational content in your space? Second one is, are there how-to videos that you can make? I gotta assume that a ton of the how-to makeup tutorials on YouTube are gonna be dropping right now on, on Instagram. I know there's a lot of people that do the, the they, they go live to do their, their, their how-to content. Now you can actually make a video vertically and upload it there. Again, like John Mayer, uh, behind the scenes videos, as well as doing some Q&A stuff. So it could be a eight minute Q&A where you answer three questions and upload it this way. Um, but a couple things that you definitely wanna make sure is we're no longer living in just having a video strategy for your marketing. Uh, campaigns in your marketing department, but it's a social video strategy. So vertical portrait, is it gonna go on Snapchat? Is it gonna go on Instagram TV? Or are you gonna make two different versions? One that's 
landscape for YouTube and another that's vertical for Instagram TV or Snapchat. So these are things that you wanna think about. Um, the number one thing that a lot of you might ask though is Kev, if we don't have a lot of apps or tools or things like that, I'd say the first thing is just do it, film it with your phone. Um, the second thing is if you do have a camera, flip it and film vertically. But you can use platforms like iMovie, film, uh, Final Cut Pro, or Adobe Premiere, and there's a lot of different ways that you can crop in there, but again, you need to have a video producer or video editing skills to do that. There's other platforms you can make video called Spark by Adobe. But I think the number one thing I would say is what I just said five seconds ago is just try making video uh, with your phone, upload it, and, and then do your thing, try it out. But uh, those are a couple things that you need to know. And uh, again, I would encourage you to take your camera, flip it portrait, film that way, and then uh, upload to Instagram TV, create a channel now, and just get, get a sense of what's gonna happen with it. It might flop, it might compete with YouTube, but we'll see. But uh, I wanna get this out and share my two cents, and uh, I'm very curious what you guys do with it. Take care.